Hi everyone, Pradeep here from TGT and welcome to another macOS update video. Yesterday Apple released macOS Big Sur 11.5.1 to the public. This update came just days after the public release of macOS Big Sur 11.5 and contains some major security updates. Along with that Apple also released iOS 14.7.1, iPadOS 14.7.1 as well. I have made a separate video for that. To check for this update, go to about this Mac, then software update and you should see your update here. This update came in around 2.2 GB on this Mi 2017 MacBook Air 13 inch and depending on the version you are on, this should vary. Before the update, let's check the build number. As you can see, the version is 11.5 and the build number is 20G71. The free storage available in this Mac is uh, around 69.64 GB out of 128 GB. Now before I update, here is a request to subscribe to TGT. This is a dedicated channel for the Apple users and I post important Apple related videos here regularly. So do subscribe. Now let's go on with the update. Well the update is now complete. Let's go to about this Mac again. Here you can see it's 11.5.1 now and the new build number is 20G80. After the update, the available storage space is around 70.16 GB, so a bit of storage gained. As I mentioned earlier, this is an additional update to the previously released macOS Big Sur 11.5 and it patches some major security flaws. Now if you go to the Apple support website, as you can see here, it says about the impact where an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privilege. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. And the description says a memory corruption issue was addressed with improved memory handling. So basically Apple is fixing the same IO mobile frame buffer error which they fixed in the corresponding iOS update as well. Apart from that, it doesn't mention anything new, but of course, Apple might have done some additional bug fixes and security fixes as well, which they never mention about. Performance and stability wise, this is running absolutely fine in this late 2017 MacBook Air 13 inch. In fact, I shot and edited this video after updating to macOS Big Sur 11.5.1. The battery life is also same. With macOS Big Sur, I get around 7.8 hours of battery life in this MacBook Air, but it varies depending on the task I am performing. Now for the benchmark scores, let's run the Geekbench 5 here. And the scores for the macOS Big Sur 11.5.1 are 620 for the single core and 1481 for the multi core which is already better than the macOS 11.5. So you might see some performance gain after this update. So if you are running macOS Big Sur 11.5 already, I will highly recommend you to update to this version. This security patch might be important for your Mac computer. This version is also stable and will make your Mac more secure. So definitely update. That's it for this video guys. Do write your comments, do like, share and don't forget to subscribe to TGT. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.